Hi, this is X Surge Mech Prince, and I just got my Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon Combo. <coughs> and I haven't slept since. I like to print multicolor robots, and the one thing that bugs me is the waste that it makes through purging. Just look at all these poop. So after much pooping I decided to find ways to reduce the waste through filament purging, and I will share to you what I found. Total purge volume is a function of flushing volumes of each color pair, number of filament changes per layer, and number of layers where filament changes occur. This will lead to the following realizations. Layer height and model height plays a great part. The taller the model, and the smaller the layer height, the more layers it will have. The more layers, more filament changes. The more filament changes, more waste is created. Model size does not affect the purge volume. No matter how narrow or wide the model is, it will have a constant purge volume if it has more than one color on it. However, the overall model size can offset the purge waste in relation to the total plastic used. Therefore the conclusions are, keep the 3D model as short as possible. In other words, reduce the model height. Keep the model as wide as possible or as spread as wide on the build plate. Since the XY size of the model does not matter, the material used can offset the material wasted. With these in mind here are my tips to save more filament when printing multicolor with X1 Carbon and AMS. Print big models. If the model is big, more material is used. This can offset the material wasted. increase layer height. Larger values of the layer height will reduce the number of layers the slicer will generate. This will have a trade-off in print quality so use at your own risk. Print small multicolor models in bulk. This will make the overall model wider, which can offset the filament wasted. Plus points if the models are not that tall, Try breaking your model apart if possible. This is like breaking a big model into smaller parts so you can take advantage of the previous tip mentioned. When breaking 3D models, the XY compensation can help a lot for ease of assembly. Find out what the ideal flush volume for your filaments. This is paramount when saving filament. Less flushing volume, less material wasted. This will depend on your filaments, but a value of 190 mm cubed is good for my application. Group models needing the same exact colors together. This will make filament changes more efficient because there is no need to purge filament for that lone color. If you have one three color model along with a lot of two color models, you are wasting filament purging for that third color. When printing multiple single color models, you can use sequential printing to improve print time and material usage. This makes material usage more efficient by changing colors per object, not per layer. You can change this under the Others tab, Special Mode section. Make sure that the hot end will not collide with other printed models on the build plate. See these tips in action as I plate and print the pieces of my Rhino Mech unit. This model will be available for download for free on my Gumroad, link below in the description. As you can see, the small pieces are spread out. And height is kept to a minimum. I am also printing these in bulk to save more filament. 
Two Rhino units will be printed as a result. My design only has two colors for the body and a three-colored head. To save on filament changes, I group all pieces that should only have two colors on this build plate. On this second plate, I included my three-colored head so it looks like I just violated my tip number six. But there is no other plate with three colors so I am forced to include it here. These tips are not set in stone. Use or don't use these tips to suit your personal needs. I will also be printing the joints in TPU in a separate project. No AMS involved on that. As you can see, I can achieve 81% efficiency with my filament used. Keeping the filament waste minimal. Now let's print these bad boys. Well, this is another risk in bulk 3D printing, printing failures. Oh well. And there it is, my Rhino Mech units, available now. And this concludes my video of tips on how to save filament using Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon and AMS. If you liked this video, and if you want more mechs, please like and subscribe to Xsurge Mech Prints, and I will see you in the next video.